During our 2023 expedition in partnership with Ocean Networks Canada, or ONC, we're supporting the maintenance of their major cabled observatory, Neptune, or Northeast Pacific Time Series Underwater Network Experiments, in a groundbreaking initiative that brings the deep sea to light in real time through the advanced underwater cabled network. Located off the west coast of British Columbia, ONC's 800 plus kilometer cabled seafloor observatory provides power and connectivity to thousands of sensors installed miles below the ocean surface. Tens of thousands of people worldwide access this data via ONC's Oceans 3.0 data portal, available to anyone with an internet connection. Given the deep, remote, and harsh seafloor environment, the Neptune Observatory requires regular maintenance using remotely operated vehicles like Ocean Exploration Trust ROVs, Hercules, and Atalanta. Although you may be used to seeing ROV Hercules exploring the ocean depths, our work with ONC looks a little different. This work primarily focuses on engineering tasks ranging from cleaning deployed equipment, recovering data from sensors, installing new hardware and instruments, and helping the delicate job of laying underwater cables that connect the network to shore. Installing and removing equipment with ROVs seems fairly straightforward. However, factors like diving near delicate instruments and carrying heavy loads presents challenges to our team. One of these challenges is maintaining optimal ROV buoyancy, which is required for every dive as we move heavy equipment to the seafloor. Uh, for example, if perfectly balanced it at launch, when Hercules offloads heavy equipment, Hercules could become positively buoyant and start floating to the surface if that loss of payload weight isn't accounted for. To port. Okay. We're not rocketing up, so we're not terribly light. No, I think, yeah, this is... Similarly, if partway through a dive, Hercules picks up heavy equipment, it needs a way to adjust or compensate for that weight to become negatively buoyant and sink, potentially unable to resurface if the weight is too much for the RV's powerful vertical thrusters to counter. A key to maintaining operational buoyancy is careful planning weight exchanges while on the seafloor. This can be done by either bringing weights with the RV to exchange or using existing weights that are already on the seafloor at the ONC's dive sites. Pre-launch calculations for all these steps are done prior to each dive to ensure the vehicle maintains operational buoyancy throughout the entire dive. Another challenge of observatory maintenance is the impressive amount of manipulator work for both ROV arms. ROV pilots use special tools to perform delicate tasks like plugging and unplugging sensitive equipment or downloading data. A not so technical, but no less important maintenance task is cleaning instruments on the seafloor. Be on the lookout for some common household implements we use to do this. Our work with Ocean Networks Canada shines a light on other types of work ROVs can do beyond exploration. As always, this is a team effort. These types of complex operations are made possible only by strong leadership, careful planning of dive objectives and tasks, and tight-knit coordination between engineering, technology, and Ooh. science. Oh, wow. That's a cool view. I love the camera for that. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Silhouette vibe.